Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT control agribots. So in this project we have the features like plowing with the help of this setup. So in real time this will be comes down directly to the uh, ground level for demonstration purpose we keep this in higher level and the next water pumping and uh, seed sowing system and also the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp battery which is rechargeable and that will get power supply from this solar panel. So here uh, the commands will be uh, given to this robot movement the forward, backward, left, right and uh, seed sowing motor on and off and water pumping motor on and off. So these six commands will be sent to the robot through this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So here uh, we have interface this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So this is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to the PIC16F73 microcontroller. So based on the commands received from this one, so it will control the robot movement through this L293D motor driver, this blue color board, the small board is the L293D motor driver which is used to control the robot movement in forward, backward, left, right and stop. And these two relays, electromagnetic relays are used to control the two operations like on and off this seed sowing motor and a water pumping motor. So the relay purpose is to control the seed sowing and water pump L293D to control the robot movement. So all these inputs and outputs controlled by the PIC16 of 73. The interfacing connections are ESP8266 interface at the B0, B1 pin and L293D interface at the C0 to C3 pins and C6, C7 to these two relays are connected. So coming to the charting uh, section. So we have interface the solar panel. So if you want to charge a battery with the help of solar panel. So then we need to connect the solar panel at this slot of S or T. So this is a S should be connected at the S or T slot. Now the robot is charging with the help of the solar powered. So this is the actually project execution when we are demonstrating that with solar panel. So if the sunlight is not available during the night times if you want to charge a battery then connect this T. So T at this T slot and now on the power supply to this transformer. So now the transformer will take to the devils AC and provide us the sufficient battery charging voltage to the battery. So the readily indication will show the status of the battery charging. So the battery will get full charge in a duration of around uh, 6 to 8 hours maximum. So after that time completion you can just disconnect the charging and keep the wires inside the robot only because while the robot is moving so the wires may come on its way and now connect the solar panel in execution steps right so keep the battery under full charge and after that now let us go with the execution of this project setup so before on the kit keep the battery under full charge and the next is install two application in your phone. So that is network analyzer application from the play store and the next juice SSH. Juice SSH application available in the play store only. So this is the application we need to install. So these two are the applications we need to install before execution of the project. After successful installation go to hotspot settings of your phone. Change the hotspot name to project 5843. All are small letters without any space, without any capital letter. Password should be 12345678. AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. So after these settings on the hotspots, now on the kitchen. So this is the on off switch. So below is the on, above is the off. So we can see that below is on, above is off. So on the kitchen, wait till one device is connected on your mobile phone so right one device was connected now go to network analyzer application options land scan do the scan the first one is the mobile phone ip address and we'll get the next one is the orchid ip address now click on it and copy now open this application it will show in this manner initially so later on it will show you the ip address directly over here after you made the connections click on manage connections Click on plus. Here three changes now. One is a telnet. Type is telnet. And IP address which we got from that application network analyzer. And 80, uh, 8080 port number. These three are very important changes. Check twice before on the kitchen. After that you can just click on this. So that you can see the welcome message on this one. So if you want to control the robot in forward motion. F small f 
backward small b left small l right small r and stop for small s and to control the water pumping motor 1 and 0 right and 1 and 0 to control the water pumping motor and to for the speed uh, seat uh, showing motor is for 2 and 4 so let us see so f small f enter the robot will move forward stop and a small b backward stop left small l like the left direction stop and right and stop you can see the 1 and 0 1 the water pumping motor got switched on 0 2 off and 2 the C is swing motor you can observe that the C is swing motor got switched on and for 4 it will be off so let us see on the floor right now let us see on the floor so just forward so it's moving forward and stop left right and stop and then go with the right direction and the next stop and the backward stop seat showing also as we discussed two so we pour the seats into this and then the particular hole will take the seat and when the robot is moving forward direction the seats will be placed here and the next four for stop the seeding one and one so you can see that it is pouring the water right zero for stopping it and stop right